Welcome to another episode of Will My Christmas Be a Disaster? And let's start with the latest news. <laughs> okay, okay, I should be more serious now. Welcome back to my channel, my friends, and I am very happy to see you again here. As you might have already noticed, I am very active on YouTube lately. So yeah, here it is. Here's the third episode of Will My Christmas Be a Disaster? And I am here just to update you. So the first thing that I wanted to tell you is that I think there is almost like close to zero possibility that I will go to Norway or Italy will come to Latvia. Still, there are no changes regarding my traveling. If I travel to Norway, I will have to stay in 10 days quarantine, which means that if I go right now, I will have to spend my Christmas and New Year's in a quarantine hotel or elsewhere, just in quarantine away from him. There's no use in traveling to Norway at this moment to celebrate holidays together. And from the Norway part, Vitaly is a very dedicated person. He doesn't want to take risks. Taking into consideration the situation uh, in the world, that new changes are being introduced like every week. There is no like certainty that after Christmas holidays here, he will be able to easily travel back to Norway. After the New Year's, his team is starting the preparation for the new season. So he wants to be up there, strong, ready, without any delay. That's just his thing. That's his dedication to the thing he likes to do, that he loves to do. And I completely understand it. His priority has always been like football and this is why he is not taking the risk. And I completely understand him. For those who think it's crazy, uh, I want to tell you that I'm with him for almost like six years and being a football player's uh, girlfriend, later fiance and most probably wife in the future, this means that there are things that you just have to accept. And if you don't have the nerves of steel, you shouldn't probably date a man that's engaged into professional sports. Just saying, if you think that you know the answer to the question of my Christmas vlog, will my Christmas be a disaster? Well, newsflash, you don't. Because, well, just wait for the last episode during the Christmas time. I think I will make it during the Christmas time or a little bit after Christmas. So yeah, you will see the complete answer to this Christmas vlog. So stay updated, of course, just reminding you to subscribe to the channel, press the notification bell in order not to miss any of my future videos. And yeah, press like in advance because today's video will be dedicated to the stuff I'm doing while preparing for my Christmas holidays. So yesterday when I woke up, uh, there was a surprise left in my yard from my grandpa and grandma. So yeah, I got some extra Christmas decoration mood yesterday. You will see it right now. Friends, <laughs> it seems like decoration of my home will continue. My gran and my grandpa went to the woods and they brought me these branches for decoration and this little tiny Christmas tree. So yeah, I'm gonna bring them in and decide where to put. I've been preparing some presents and I'm also expecting some presents. I have some great news and I am sending this nice parcel 
to Dubai. I have this wonderful friend who lives in Dubai and we decided to exchange parcels. So here are the things I am sending to her. Yeah, I'm so excited to get the parcel from her. Whoop, this is going to be great. Today I'm going to the post office today and sending some presents and cards for Christmas to Vitaly's parents. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Yeah, and check out my Christmas nails. La 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 la. <laughs> and now the weather forecast. Will there be snow in Christmas in Latvia? Meteorologists say that there is a slight possibility, but we don't know that exactly, because in Latvia you never know if it's going to snow during Christmas time. Last week there was one day when there were slight signs of something like a snow coming from the sky. So please stay tuned, you will see what actually happened right now. I simply enjoy the first snow, it's usually like I don't know, it feels like a birthday. It's like when you open the window and everything's a little bit white and you feel so surprised, so Christmassy already. And yes, I hope the snow stays a little bit longer because it's below zero, so it should stay. Here's my new neighbor. Look. His ears just flipped over. He's so funny. He's so cute. He's gonna bark. Like 100% he's gonna bark. <laughs> and I just wanted to catch your attention because I also got a little cooking mood. Yeah, I tried a new recipe and it was actually a traditional Norwegian Christmas recipe of a tasty cookies. I'm not telling you everything in this video. I think I will post a separate video about that. So yeah, once again, reminding you to subscribe to the channel, press the notification bell, because you don't want to miss that cooking video. after the New Year's, somewhere in the middle of January or by the end of the January, uh, I will be visiting him there in Norway. So yeah, I'm pretty excited that we have at least some kind of plans. Once I will be there, I really hope I will get there by January and that nothing changes. Um, I will be ready to say uh, all of these 10 quarantine days uh, just to meet him. And of course I am like, 100% certain that I will be staying there for a longer period uh, than the last time. Last time in August I stayed for two weeks, so this time I'm like aiming for a longer period. I haven't decided yet for how long, but if you follow me, you will probably be the first ones to know. So yeah, I hope you have a great Christmas holiday preparation. I hope you have already decided what will be on the table of your Christmas dinner. I hope that your house is decorated. I hope that despite the situation in the world, oh, you are still catching some kind of Christmas spirit. Just sending you lots of love and see you next time.